We had an amazing time out in the Kalgoorlie region. Last year it was awesome. We just got back from Kalgoorlie. We got to connect with the community in the lives of didn't have anything but we were going to be able to. It was really successful actually. It was a difficult time in that we faced challenges that we weren't really expecting, but then God was there and he provided the way. We were able to get every shot and every scene that we set out to do. It was really, really cool to see how powerful this, this whole process of making film is. Just to make you feel that this process can change the community. <laughs> Individuals in the community and the families of the community actually really banded together to help us find actors. We found that through that challenge of trying to find people for characters, we actually got to engage with more of the community. They got to meet people that we wouldn't have connected with otherwise and were invited into the community. We found all of the actors and locations that we were looking for and came back with some really beautiful and impressive looking footage that we're really excited about. We also had the opportunity to connect really well with the community. We got to know lots of uh, individuals, families, and um, organizations uh, that really got behind the film, uh, got involved with it, were very supportive, uh, even to the degree of being able to work with the local hospital, being able to work with the local police. It's just amazing just how connected they were with the film as well. It wasn't our film that we were coming in and, and just using them to make. It really was their film. They felt it. They, had like a great sense of ownership over it, a great um, sense of excitement over the production of it. I just overheard what, what they're talking about. They're talking about this movie is about us. This movie is uh, our problems and we need to get over it, those things. Uh, and forgiveness, we're talking about this so we can teach the next generation this movie. That's uh, the community elders talking about those things about this movie and they uh, share each other what happened, what kind of experience they had and through that they share to the next generation, through that they share it to their like, grandchildren. There were people that we didn't even know of that were asking questions about the film because it had created such a vibe in the community and when we go back and do our next shoot they'll continue to, to ask questions we're going to go back to Kalgoorlie in a few weeks and do our last location shoot for this short film, which is good. It's coming to the end sort of process of the production. And we're looking forward to going back and doing some really focused shoots with some of our key young actors, some young Aboriginal kids that we've really um, become really close with. We will uh, mainly work with three kids. So I'm really, really excited to see their experience as new experience and they never have done before all those things come out of filmmaking. The main one is a young guy named Kyle Lynch, who's a superstar. He's not an actor, he's not in any way a movie star who we've now hired, but he's just this kid, a real kid with real life things happening around in the real community. I want to put it in a dream in their life. It's not about being famous, it's about a dream so they can not just make movie but they can dream something so that dream changes their life. So thanks so much for your prayers and please continue to pray for us on this next two week shoot. Shooting all our scenes on a bus this time and so just safety for that, wisdom, inspiration, um, creativity with how that's all going to come together would yeah, just be really awesome. We really value your prayers and it's a really key thing to seeing victory in the shoot. It's not just a movie shoot, it's, it's progressing the kingdom forward, it's taking out Jesus and his values and biblical values into a different community. And so really ask you to pray for us, that we would be wise in the way we interact with people there, that we would be respectful of the community, but also confident of the hope that we have and not ashamed of the gospel, that we would know the truth that we have in God and would be happy to give that to people.